Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino, checking in with Bitcoin this July 4th afternoon. Everybody in America, happy July 4th. If you're in the rest of the world, happy today. So, happy Bitcoin moving up. Because imagine most of you are trading it long. Okay, so rally up here, stalling out our 66.44 level multiple times, pulling back really nicely to rotation zone. Prior resistance right in this area becoming support, rising rotation zone, catching on the 21, rotating back up. Next key level we had was the 67.42 to 67.80, 67.67, spiking just through there, and then dropping back down, now holding sideways. We can now update our levels to the next major. These are the major ones. And remember, you can also do from the most recent swing to get some minor levels in there. So where does this look like? So right now we have very key support right about this 66.56 area. See, this was prior resistance. That's the coming support already tested it once. If we break through there, uh, the bottom of this zone is the next level support in the rising eight, 66.07. So these are areas you're gonna watch for rotations back up. And if that doesn't happen, then we have the cluster and the rising 21 right around this 65.14 to 65.27. Those are your key support. Again, we don't wanna see it close below the rotation zone because then we'd start watching for a bigger pullback. Right now, it looks like it's just drifting sideways. Really watch if it drifts sideways as this eight catches up and see if that will propel it higher because that's a very distinct pattern. So once we get through to the 67.84 level, we'll be looking for 69.13 and then 70.20 to 70.41. So really just above the 7,000 level. Let's check in on that daily chart. It's a really nice pattern. So up here, again, this 67, 67, 67, 84 area, that's the top of this prior resistance. That is still some resistance. And once we get through there, really pay attention to right around that 7,000 level. That's right now we have the declining 50 coming in right at this and we have a cluster. We have a GAN projection, a retracement, and a very key moving average all at that. And if you look over here, there is also just above that some prior dip buyers came in there. So that's going to be some very key resistance to watch for. Uh, that's really all we have for you right now. And again, on that pullback level, the 65.14 and 65.27 level is going to be very key. You have the rising up 21 and this 8 is going to converge with that. And then we might get the first cross, which would be very bullish for Bitcoin. Let's see, when's the last time we had the rotation zone in our favor on the daily chart? It's been a while. So the rotation zone hasn't been in our favor since back at the beginning of May. Here we had the, or the, really mid-May, the 12th. We had the first cross and then it's drifted down. And look all this, you had the first test, second test, third test, fourth test. And we looked to three to five tests for the moves to exhaust. So it took, it got four, and then the next one just petered out. So now we're looking for a first cross, and then we'll be watching the tests coming on the rally if we can sustain a rally in this. Again, you can use these techniques on any of the cryptos you follow. We pretty much do the same thing on all of them. So hope everyone's having a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.